Hi everybody, Charlie here from Raptorium. Uh, this is uh, just a quick and dirty mining guide. I, I want to say five minutes or less, but I talk sometimes a lot, so it'll probably be a bit more than five minutes. But either way, a great easy way for people new to the project coming in from maybe other projects or people that are GPU mining, want to CPU mine, get up and running quickly and easily with uh, Raptorium. So what you're going to need to start is a couple of things. You're going to need 7-zip, download, uh, install this. This is a Windows-based guide, so everything will be Windows. Uh, the reason you need this is the, the CPU miner is packed with 7-zip. So install this, then you can head on over and grab the, the latest release of the CPU miner, which is here. Download it. And when you do, you'll be you'll have something like this, 7-zip, extract, extract here. And you will end up with that. Okay, once you have that, you also need the wallet. Like I mentioned before at the beginning, Zellcore wallet is what I'm going to use in this guide. Reason being for mining, it gives you the quickest way Besides a paper wallet, but the paper wallet doesn't have any send sending functionality, etc. So Zellcore uh, is mobile, Mac, uh, etc. So it's just uh, quick and easy, flexible, especially if you just need a mining address. So head on over to Zellcore, download for Windows, and uh, install that. Once you have it installed, you'll be... Uh, greeted with something like this, uh, head over to Portfolio, Manage Assets. I've already added RTM, so I'm going to hide it so I can show you how you can get it in by adding it as an asset. Okay, so Manage Assets, Add Asset, scroll down to Coins, you will see RTM right here. Add it. Overview, click on the uh, Raptorium logo. Receive. Okay, now you have your receiving address that you can mine to. So let's leave that as is for now. We'll head over into the CPU miner. And here you can see, uh, you'll notice you have a bunch of different types of bat files. A bat file is what you're going to use. It stores your configuration to run the, the EXE. So this is how you can open it. And like I said, that's your configuration. So you have AVX, AVX2, AES, SC42, uh, Zen2, Zen3. So if you're not sure which architecture or um, instructions instruction set <laughs> your CPU is, there's a few different ways to find out. You can look up on your PC info, uh, what CPU you have, and then go to the vendor's website and look it up, AMD, Intel, etc. Um, or you can install, uh, let's, um, one second here, Hardware Info. It's a free tool. It's going to give you a bunch of information on your system, especially your CPU. I have it running here. Uh, summary. Okay, you can see I'm running a... A beastly Intel Core i7 on this laptop so and you can see instruction sets here that are supported AVX2 is going to give the best uh, performance so we're going to go with that back to the minor folder so AVX2.bat I'm going to use that I believe I already have it open, so I don't need to, uh, yeah. So edit, notepad, notepad++, plus plus, whatever. We're going to use our pool uh, to mine to. You can see here it calls the avx2.exe. GR is the ghostwriter algorithm. Here is going to be your receiving address that your mined coins will go to. Head back into your Zell core. Copy that address. I had already done it, but just doing it for the sake of showing. 
Trifiti is my worker name. If you're using multiple computers, uh, most of you probably already know this. Uh, it it uh, shows you which PC or which mining rig is which on the pool. You don't need to have this. You can remove the period and the name if you want. Tune full. This miner has a, a, an awesome tuning function. The first time you run it, like a default config, this is not included. But it'll run a default tune the first time you run the miner. And uh, it takes 80 minutes, I believe. Uh, let that run. It doesn't mine while it's tuning. But the kickoff is you have way better performance once it's tuned. I do the tune full all the time just because for the most part I find it makes a significant difference on hash rate over the normal tune. Um, tune full uh, takes 115 minutes and again it's not mining while it, it's tuning. As soon as it's done tuning after 115 minutes it will start mining automatically. You don't have to do anything. You need to run it as administrator because there's a couple of uh, different options that it sets up that require administrator privileges. And you, you want those because they offer a, I'll pause this, a uh, pretty good performance boost, such as WinRing and uh, WinRing MSR and huge pages. As you can see here, huge pages was set up, but uh, I have to reboot to uh, enable it. So you can go ahead and close the miner now and reboot it and uh, start it again and then huge pages will be uh, available. I'm not going to do that right now. And you can see the miner also reports what's available on your uh, on your CPU. Um, a couple of notes on mining Raptorium. It's a bit different from uh, maybe other stuff you've mined. If you're, you're mining something else such as Ethereum or Ravencoin, and uh, you know you have a GPU rig and you want to put that CPU to use and mine Raptorium with it, you can uh, you can do that no problem. And let's say you have a a CPU that has 24 threads, you don't have to leave any threads open. It's not going to interfere with uh, with your uh, GPU mining. You can take all 24. It's, it it shouldn't be an issue. Uh, also, Ghost Rider is is uh, a bit of a wild ride for an algorithm. It cycles through different algorithms depending on the block. And uh, you'll have some that are very fast and your hash rate will go way up. And then you'll have others that'll be slower. And uh, just how Ghost Rider works. So if you want to get a, get a good idea of your hash rate, you need to give it 24 hours. And the miner will give you a rolling average of your hash rate. So give it 24 hours and see what it says. You can also check on the pool, but you need to give it that to have an idea of what your hash rate is, and then you can calculate, you know, what you're making per day. Um, we have a mining calculator on our Discord, so you can uh, hop in once you know your hash rate. Uh, we've been averaging well, about around a dollar per uh, per kilo hash. So. Uh, it's been pretty profitable for a, for a CPU coin. And uh, the mining calculator on Discord is pretty accurate. So uh, like I said, once you know your hash rate, hop in Discord. And if you're interested to see how much you're making, that's the best way. And that's about it. You should be up and uh, mining as soon as your tuning is done. I'll drop links to this different stuff in the description of this video, as well as our Discord, Telegram, and Twitter. Uh, don't hesitate to drop drop in on uh, Telegram and Discord. Discord's very active, always lots of people willing to help you out, get you going, uh, lots of fun events, etc. So thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching.